<laughs> hey y'all, what's up? What's good? Yeah, bring it in. Yeah, that's that's my bony chest. What's up? Bird, bird chest right there. I'm like a, a chicken wing with no breast. You feel me? Just wings, bro. I'm fly as fuck. But what is up and what is good, YouTube, the World Wide Web? As you guys can see in life, full HD. It is your host with the most, Paul Cantu. Back at you guys, as I said yesterday, with my second part of a ginormous thrift haul. So yesterday, I breezed through all the items that I actually purchased to sell on hfv.bigcartel.com. And today, I actually am showing off all the items that I purchased for my own personal collection. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and hop, skip, and jump straight into my thrift finds right now. And first of all, so we're gonna start off with the hats. Anybody who is privy to fashion or knows what's going on right now will be the first one to tell you that these little curved brims are in style. So I picked up a bunch of cool little curved brims at the thrift. So right here, right now, the first hat is a Deodora England curved brim strap back as you guys can see in the golden clasp it says Deodora it has the English crest and I got this because it is a navy blue which is a classic color it'll go with any earth tones and it also has that white and red so it'll pretty much match with about anything under the sun so I had to go ahead and get this and it is sick the next curved brim is by Gap. I actually got this at the Goodwill Bins for less than 35 cents. It has Gap all embroidered. I got this because it's simple, sexy, and again, that beige can go with anything that's dressed up or dressed down. Pop trunk, show us around. What's good, Trey? We in this thing, bruh. Then the next curved brim I got is black and white. Of course, will match with anything. And it has a nice bitch right there in the center of it. So, Bitch is barking at them boys. It says the black dog on the back and has all these nautical flags. And of course, the dog on the clasp. A great way to show reverence to man's best friend. But right here, it has that same ribboning all throughout. So I saw this and perceived it to be a very high quality piece. And of course, a black and white. Again, it'll go with anything and everything under the sun. So the next hats I have up are going to blow y'all's minds. Why? Because all you hype beast ass fuck boys who are riding Palace's dick are going to see these and be like, damn, I just got finessed by the thrift guy. Yes, you did. Are you guys ready for it? Three, Three two, two, one. one fire. Boom, as y'all can see, I got this really sick light pink, yeah that's right, Robitussin, Cody, mixed with the Sprite, whatever you want to call it, cotton candy. This is some very, very sick flame. It has a G embroidered on the center, and yes, this was thrifted. So it actually is a bang set, and if you flip and dip this logo, it would look just like the P for Palace, which is crazy. It says Adams on the scrap, and it has a bank embroider on the back, which is no biggie. As you guys can see, it also has Paris straight debossed in this golden brass copper clasp. Bruh, it's like the fusion of all metals. But I actually got five of them to boot. Now I'm hooking all the homies up with these so they will be exclusives, but they were $1.98 and they were brand fucking new. Now I'll be the first one to say that Palace has really dope items, but again, you guys can thrift the equivalent. All it takes is a little bit of time, patience, and perseverance. You dig what I'm saying? The next up, I got two visors because, of course, I like having the man bun slash palm tree at the same time as rocking and shocking a hat. So the first one I got was $4. Is this really sick Adidas visor right here. Simple and sexy Adidas. And the next hat I got is actually a visor. It is this Lone Star Beers camo visor. Now, all these streetwear companies, again, are incorporating camo into their motherfucker fits. So I figured, why not go to the thrift and, again, finesse on all these expensive-ass brands by finding this really sick Lone Star Beer, repping the state I'm from, and of course, alcoholic consumption. So I was like, duh, it's a no-brainer. This is fire as fuck. Now, the next category I'm gonna go ahead and slide into are, of course, pants. So I got a pair of Levi's 511 skinny jeans from the thrift. These were 10 bucks, size 32 in the waist is my size, what's up? But as y'all can see, it is just a simple whitewash on denim with a slight fade in the center. I actually am gonna de-stress these guys, which I will see in my weekly thrift fit rotation coming up. But these were a simple and sexy pair of Levi's quality over earth thing. Now the next pair of pants again are sticking with the camo theme and these are actually joggers to show off the schlogger. So joggers are finding their way into thrifts which is dope and these were priced at $7 by Savers. So as y'all can see they have the cuffs on the bottom and are a classic camo. So again that bape-esque look for fucking seven bucks and get with it or get lost. I'm telling y'all the thrifts are the truth. 
Now I'm gonna continue to shit on everyone purchasing really expensive overpriced shit. I have a really sick Tommy Hilfiger all crocheted by your grandmother and her girlfriend again in the nursing home. It's all embroidered with the crest. Black, red, white, and forest green are the colors constructing this garment. It is very dope and I will be looking very preppy whilst I wear this. Next up again, quality. I found a really sick essential crew neck by J. Crew. This was eight bucks, but I think I got it for 30% off, so it was like six. Math. But as y'all can see, it's just a nice gray and a light burgundy. Cool as fuck. And then transitioning into another crew neck, I got again that cotton candy pink that all the kids are raving over right now. This is very dope. It's three dollars. It's dead stock by Gildan. It's women's size XL. Check the women's section if you guys want to find some flame. I'm telling y'all, they got it. So y'all might be saying, Gildan, Paul, you can get that at Walmart. But what you can get at Walmart that you can get at the thrift is some Ralph Lauren USA polo. Look at this shit. Now I. Dearly wish I had my camera on me when I got this piece, but it's very sick. Number three, embroider on the sleeve. USA on one tip. On another tip, you got the cocaine horseman. And then on the back, you have the number three with the United States all embroidered and a really, really sick flag. Now, just to prove this is not any falsified information, I did get this at Buffalo Exchange for 20 bucks, which isn't bad in my personal opinion. I traded in a bunch of gear that I could not sell on HFV.Big Cartel. I got a million dollars in store credit, so I went ahead and copied some Ralph though for the win of skis it USA now this next piece is actually a soccer jersey and it is that Jesus Christ swag praise God hallelujah raise the hymns to heaven because we got the BAM motherfucker Jesus Christ as the mascot soccer jersey now this is very sick number 10 on the back it was my number it is my favorite number due to Messi and Vince Young VY was my boy but look it got a really sick little motherfucker tag embroidered on it and for 25 cents I could not pass on the Jesus Christ cocaine and navy ass Downing Jersey got him. Shut the fuck up, bitch! Another piece similarly was only 75 cents, and I got this really sick multicolored all crocheted by your grandfather while he was getting anally fucked in prison. What? I really, really like this. It has the red, the yellow, the blue, the pink, and the orange. A million and one colors. Very loud, very flamboyant, and Kuji esque. Straight 90s, straight flame. Another piece that is straight 90s is Versace, Versace, Medusa head on me like I'm Luminati. It is this very, very dope Versace esque looking jacket. It has the red, the maroon stripes going right down the center. That gold filigree, which is fancy as fuck. Looks like it was taken off the Titanic chandelier. And it's just all over dope as hell it has really sick golden ropes and a really nice ribbon going all throughout the sleeve had to go ahead and nab this it was 10 bucks now as i said with the pink palace hats it is my right and my intention as a homie to hook up my friends with some fire flame so i actually picked up this really sick north face jacket this thing was only seven bucks and it has the zipper the buttons and actually the hood has a ninja mask within it which is very sick and i grabbed this for the homie jacob star Anytime my homies want something that I cop, I pretty much hook them up as long as it's not sold before then. That's North Face all embroidered. Anyone knows that the North Face is quality. And I found a countless amount of North Face pieces in the thrift that was just another to throw into the collection. Straight flexing on them. Ha! Tripping. Last but certainly not least, I have two pieces that are sick as fuck and really dope finds. The first of which I actually got for 25 cents. It is that Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls fire it is all pinstripes you got the chicago bulls crest all embroidered on the chest then you flip and dip you got bulls on the back with the starter logo this is vintage heat to a t and i got it for 25 cents at the family thrift outlet in houston what is good then to conclude this quick and sexy video i have a dope ass pair of kicks and i actually spent a lot more than i normally would at the thrift but i just wanted a pair of these for the longest get ready for it choirs in heaven sing Boom! So right here I have the very sick all red leather Doc Martens. Now I actually got these at Buffalo Exchange with a Ralph Lauren polo piece. They were $68 which I never would spend my real money on. However, I traded in a bunch of thrifted goods once again that I got for a steal and got over $270 in store credit. So I was like, these are a must cop. They fit me perfectly. They felt really good on feet. And I always wanted some all red Tim's or all red boots. And these came through. We can dress these up and dress them down. Do not sleep on Doc Martens because sometimes they are in the thrifts. And this red lobster Clifford leather was a must cop to have on feet. I cannot wait to again wear and tear these guys down to the ground. Yeezy times motherfucker Doc Martens. 
what is good with it, son. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. This actually isn't even the video I wanted to drop today, but I had a bunch of shit happen. I had a bunch of my shelves that I built up for a background to a video get thrown away, which sucks ass. But either way, I had to go ahead and unleash some content on you guys. So hopefully y'all enjoyed all the personal grail finds that I found while thrifting over the last couple of months. I have a bunch more items coming up, more trips to the thrifts, more shoe reviews. Just wait because the amount of content is just going to keep running down in y'all souls. Peace and love once again. Live the dream, eat ice cream, and I will see y'all tomorrow for real. Bye. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I rules, and I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used.